Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Miller, and the SCP we're going to be studying today is SCP-1269. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures The property where SCP-1269 is located is to remain under the custody of the Foundation. No females 23 years of age or over are to enter the property except for testing purposes. One male researcher is to reside within the property under the guise of the current resident, and is to monitor the behavior of SCP-1269. Description: SCP-1269 is a black aluminum curbside mailbox, possessing a red flag and a white plastic post. SCP-1269 stands 1.3 meters tall, with a mailbox measuring 49.5 centimeters by 15.2 by 17.7 centimeters, consistent with the T2 mailbox size in the United States. The number is printed on the right side. It lacks any manufacturer's marks, and has minor dents and abrasions, suggesting that the object has been present on the same property for some time. Due to the nature of SCP-1269's effect, the object is permanently located in Massachusetts, in front of house number on Avenue. SCP-1269's anomalous properties will manifest only when a single female, 23 years or older, hereafter referred to as the occupant, resides within the same property as SCP-1269. Approximately two weeks after the occupant moves in, SCP-1269 will start to manifest unaddressed letters every four days. The contents of the letter are romantic in nature and are targeted towards the occupant of the house. Surveillance within SCP-1269 has shown the letters manifest approximately three seconds after the occupant's mail has been delivered. Exactly three weeks after the appearance of the first letter, SCP-1269's secondary anomalous properties will manifest. Letters will begin appearing daily, with contents becoming increasingly more obsessive and erratic until the point that the letters regress into single sentences. In some occasions, multiple letters will appear within SCP-1269. Additionally, when not under direct supervision of the occupant, SCP-1269 will teleport to a location near the occupant and face them. This location will be partially obstructed, such as behind windows, cracked doors, and shower curtains. Under special circumstances, such as during sleep or when obscured by darkness, SCP-1269 will teleport near the occupant without obstruction. Whether or not the occupant relocates SCP-1269, the object will continue to teleport between a range of 1 to 5 times every 12 hours. SCP-1269 will not follow the occupant off the property and all anomalous properties will cease manifesting after the occupant is either moved or expired. Attempts to remove SCP-1269 from its location have so far been unsuccessful. SCP-1269 will teleport to its original curbside location after one hour of relocation. If attempts are made to replace SCP-1269 with a new mailbox, the mailbox will be teleported away with SCP-1269 appearing in its place. Approximately three hours after the disappearance of the new mailbox, it will reappear in a dumpster 25 kilometers away behind an abandoned franchise. Mailboxes recovered so far have all been found in varying amounts of disrepair, within garbage bags, and covered and painted on words and phrases. Addendum SCP-1269-A On July 12, 2004, D-6912-4, a male, was moved onto the property with the current test occupant, D-7283, after seven weeks had passed. SCP-1269 stopped teleporting at this time. Three days later, D-6912-4 disappeared from the property, causing SCP-1269 to resume all anomalous behavior. Two weeks after the disappearance, D-6912-4 was found in a similar location as the other replacement mailboxes. The subject was found within a large garbage bag with severe bruising and lacerations, an apparently fatal blow to the head, and a lack of hands and lips. See documents SCP-1269-B for recorded phrasing. 
documents SCP-1269-A. Transcribed below are several letters delivered to D-87-1523, who temporarily resided within the property of SCP-1269 for testing. July 21, 1998 I remember the day, the hour, the infinitesimal sliver of a second when I fell in love with you, realized I loved you and only you. The moment my heart stopped and I lived for you alone. Perhaps it was the way you carried yourself on the tired days. Perhaps it was the way your eyes shone when a transient beauty crossed your path. Would you understand how I longed to be that butterfly dancing on the afternoon breeze? That small flower struggling through the sidewalk cracks? That passing swan-like cloud in the sky? How I longed to be anything that would catch your eye and move your smile? You pass by me each day never sparing me more than a glance. But for me, it's enough to carry me until the next day. As I wait to next catch a glimpse of you and your unearthly beauty, your charming laugh and graceful step. I love the way you dance whenever you walk. I love the way you tilt your head towards the sun. I love everything about you. I love you. August 9th, 1998 how could anyone describe one as perfect as you? Vision of elegance and loveliness? Every action of yours I've observed is embodied in the fragility and delicacy of a twirling snowflake. And yet, you waltz into eternity with the softest of motion, in perfect rhythm with air and the world. You are beautiful. Every step, every pause, every breath of yours is a masterwork of the divine. Your presence brightens the world with a light that cannot be compared. You are the flower that nature cannot hope to match. August 15th, 1998 The color of your eyes reminds me of the depth and expanse of the night sky. A vast, dazzling macrocosm of soft velvet and glimmering pinpricks of light. August 18th, 1998 Do you sing in the shower? If so, I've heard you. Such a tenderly beautiful voice matches its owner. August 21st, 1998 I think of you and nothing but you as the day flows by. I yearn for a faint shimmer of your face as everything darkens tonight. August 24th, 1998 The wind was blowing and I thought it whispered your name sadly because that is what my heart is doing. Please write back. I keep thinking of the way your hair shines softly in the evening light, as if each strand is a shaft of purest moonbeams. Please write. August 26th, 1998 The trees drop their leaves and cry with me as I stand here alone, without you. Please write. Kiss hug, kiss hug, kiss hug. My shadow grows longer as if reaching towards you. Please write. Kiss hug, kiss hug, kiss hug. I miss the light in your eyes and the harmony of your voice. Please write. Kiss hug, kiss hug, kiss hug. Documents SCP-1269-B Transcribed below are various phrases written on mailboxes disposed of by SCP-1269. She's mine. She's mine. She's mine. She's mine. You can have her. She's mine. She's mine. F*** you, you pile of plastic and wood. She is my everything. You are nothing to her. It was a fling, and I know it. I'm doing her a favor. No, 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 no. You can't have her. No, no, I won't let you. No, no, no. Who cares if your flag is bigger than mine? I know she doesn't care. She only sees the good in people. And you are full of shit, you fucker. I know she loves me. It's okay, baby. It's okay. I love you too. And we'll be together forever and ever. You are nothing but a tool for her to use. But I am more. I am her everything. As she is mine. She used you. She used you. She used you. And now, you're where you belong. See Addendum SCP-1269-A. 
What is a man but a pile of shit that gets in the way of my love? How could she ever love you when you're so easily broken? She never even lets you touch her. I saw the way she looked at you with hatred, and now she will love me forever. And this concludes our lecture today. Just stick to email. It's easier, it's faster, and you don't need to talk to a mailbox. I don't know. But I think that about does it for today. Thank you all for listening, if indeed you still are, and you are all dismissed. Goodbye. I would like to give a special thank you to Albino Neku, James Saba, Andre Bichert, Jax Merrick, Pablo Ice 917, Burlington the Cat, All the Time Gaming, Justin Day, Researcher Bulvier, Pierce M. Hamlin, Curie Coma, White Crew, Nicholas James Vojak, Bryson Bailey, My Archive Curator Nick, Cody Tench, The Android, Slump God, Quartz 563, and Tree Hero. Thank you all so much for your support. It's greatly appreciated. If you would like a special thank you at the end of each of my videos, and some other cool stuff as well, visit patreon.com forward slash thevolgan. Thank you.